Good morning, Moss Warriors. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023, and today is National Lost Sock Memorial Day. May 9th recognizes a fun and unique holiday. It is time to say goodbye to all of the single socks, the ones where their mates have been lost to the unknown. Where do all the missing socks go? Is there a washing machine heaven? This is a question people have been trying to solve for many centuries. An answer may never be found to this problem, and life will go on. How sad to have lost such a close-knit friend. Let's all take a moment to remember the socks we have lost. Now, will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. As a Mossville warrior, I can I pledge to do my best today and to be the best I can be. At Mossville School, I'm respectful, responsible, and safe. This is the Warrior Way. Our SEL Focus of the Week is growth in personal respect. Daily reminders, bring your lunch card every day to the cafeteria. Get to class on time. Avoid zeros at all costs. We have two and a half weeks left. Birthdays. We want to go ahead and recognize the birthdays from yesterday, May 8th. They were Audrey Robel in sixth grade. Mrs. Nestor, and Mrs. Smith. Today, May 9th, we have Frank Nelson in 5th grade and Lila Vonk in 5th grade. We hope Audrey, Mrs. Nestor, and Mrs. Smith had a great birthday yesterday, and we hope Frank and Lila have a wonderful birthday today. Attendance winners, congratulations to our 5th and 6th grade winner, Mrs. Ruland, and our 7th and 8th grade winner, Mr. Williams. Thank you to all those students that are coming to school each and every day. Congratulations to the 8th grade girls Mossville Warriors track team for their sectional championship on Saturday. The 8th grade boys team performed very well and placed second overall in the sectional. Our Mossville state qualifiers are Soren Ellenwood in the long jump, 100 meter dash in which he finished first place, and the 200 meter dash, which he also finished in first place. Colin Ferencrug, who finished first place in the 1600 meters. Brandon Cahill, who finished first place in shot put. Myel Kramer, Allie Motler, Kate Miller, and Sydney Collins, who finished in first place in the 4x200-meter relay, and Kate Miller, who finished first in shot put and first in discus. Congratulations to all these students, and we look forward to you doing a great job at the state meet. This day in history. On this day in 1865, President Andrew Johnson issued a proclamation declaring the armed resistance in the South being over. This is commonly accepted the end date of the American Civil War. Activities Day, we've got track practice and our after school reading programs. Hot lunch, we've got mini corn dogs, mac and cheese, or sun butter and jelly. Our sides are kickin' pinto beans or red pepper strips and strawberry applesauce or diced pears. On a side note, I hope all of you were safe over the weekend with the terrible weather and that all of your power is back on. If you need anything and your power is still out, please let us know in the office. And always remember, it's a great day to be a warrior.